All right, let's go ahead and create some fun pots and shapes like that that are actually completely changeable and moldable as wherever you want, which is going to be fun because you can just make a whole bunch of them really quickly and easily, and it's just really satisfying. So everybody put on Unchained Melody and Summon Swayze as we're making some pottery. Okay, so in order to create this effect, what we need to do is go into our side view here, sorry, our front view, whichever one you want, and we want to make sure our model mode, and we want to make sure snapping is on, and inside the gear for snapping, we want to make sure guides and grid are on. I just think it helps a lot. We're going to go over here to the spline pin tool, and what you're going to do is you're going to draw half of the profile of your base, because we're going to use a lathe to wrap it around. So click in the middle here and come out, and that's going to be the top. And then you click and hold to make it curve. And we're going to come out a little bit, stretch it down, come down close to the bottom, stretch it down, and then go to the middle point. There we go. And once that's done, we can just grab this, actually snap that down to the bottom, then turn snapping off, hold shift, and straighten that side back out, and maybe, you know, bring that out. And I'll always like to pull this one in. I think it always looks good when the pot kind of curves in like that. And we can adjust this as we want. And then take that middle top one and delete that. That's key. And to make it open, if you want it closed, you don't delete it. And then what we're going to do is hold Alt, put that in the lathe. Boop, there we go. So now if we need to add more geometry to our lathe, we're going to take our spline, switch it to uniform so our grid is a little more even, and go to our lathe. And go ahead and add like one centimeter rounding to that. And then as well, we're going to make sure we have 64 subdivisions because it's a round object very nice okay and so you can come in here and if you don't think you have enough if you're getting weird little chunks like that up this number be like 16 make it smooth and sometimes you just need to come in here and adjust the spline and that's really all you have to do like maybe we just made that too tight of a thing and you can just move them and adjust them on the fly which is what's really cool about this setup as well all right then you have that you've got a nice open pot there but it needs some thickness so what we need to do then is just add the thicken modifier on top of that set that to like 0.5 and maybe less maybe like 0.35 yeah it depends on what you're going for and then what we can do is you know uh we'll just put our redshift object tag on with the geometry and displacement enabled and then we'll throw on one of my clay pot materials that i've created there also are some in the asset browser that are okay but i like this one because it looks like a hand spun kind of vibe and if you want to know how to create that uh, let me know it's completely changeable and procedural as well. So let me know and we can do that in the next tutorial. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So now if you want, you can just, you know, copy paste that, take your spline, tweak it, take this, you know, raise it up, make it a tall one. Ooh, don't, don't, oh, oh, hey, whoa. Now we're talking. We're getting jiggy with it. All right, let's take this one out of the way because that's, that's tripping me up. And yeah, in the space bar, get that fat pin tool out. Make this a big chonker. There we go. And you'll know, put a different color on that. Like we did earlier. Bingo bongo. And there we go. And that redshift tessellation is going to smooth that out for us at the top. That's kind of the key to that. There you go. That's still clay pots. So hopefully that was helpful and kind of fun to make a bunch of pots. So let me know if you guys want more of these and how to create the top. Because maybe I'll just go ahead and make a big collection of pots and i'll sell them for like 420. <laughs> okay anyway they're pretty fun and cool and uh there so once you have them you can just drag and drop them into your asset browser and reuse them in whatever project you want cool